Hey everybody, Honey Badger here with uh, another project to work on. Uh, today I'm going to look at a uh, microwave I've had sitting in my garage for about seven months and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. I've got my uh, D repair assistant sit sitting over here to help me out and we're going to get a look inside this guy here. Uh, this came out of a tenant's house. They were complaining that it wasn't heating properly. Um, he said it was taking forever to cook the food. Sometimes it didn't feel like it didn't seem like it was heating the food at all. Um, it wasn't under warranty, so we just replaced it. This is a Samsung unit, over the counter, um, or over the range, and uh, we replaced it with a GE. So that was seven months ago, and then uh, the GE crapped out. Uh, well, it was still under warranty. It wouldn't power on at all. And so got a technician scheduled to come out there and take a look at it. And I thought, well, in the meantime, I'll take this guy out. I'll take a look at it, see if I see what they're seeing. And uh, so I did some tests. The first thing I did was it was kind of dirty inside. And uh, this guy here, this plate, it's called a waveguide. Um, it's made of a mica material, and it, it is responsible for transferring the power from the magnetron into the microwave and uh, if that thing gets dirty or cracked uh, it can really affect how well your microwave heats so I took that out I gave it a good cleaning put it back in uh, tried heating some cups of water and uh, I got the water to boil when I had it sitting right in the center but when I put it out here towards the edge it just was taking a long time to boil. Um, I wasn't sure. I've never used this microwave before, so I wasn't sure if that was kind of normal for this particular one. Gave it back to him. Said, here, use this in the meantime. And, uh, and then they, when the technician came, I came back and they said, oh, yeah, we, we, we quit using that one because it just it's not working. So I brought it back here again, and I'm going to take another look at it. But the technician, while he was repairing the other one, gave me some uh, tips to, to check out, which I'm going to do today, about this, this microwave here. So um, we're going to do that. But if your microwave is consistently heating, but not heating very well, this is, this is what I would check. I would check this waveguide. You can pull it out. There's a screw here in the back. And it just kind of fits into some tabs. You slide it up and out. You can take it out. You know, give it a good soap and water cleaning. If you see that it's cracked or anything, you're probably going to have to replace it, um, which is what I actually did uh, before I found out that this thing wasn't heating at all. Um, I bought some new mica material. You can buy these sheets of this stuff on Amazon, and then you just basically lay it over the lay the other piece over this one make sure you buy a big enough sheet and then draw a template and you can cut it with the scissors and then you can replace the original with with a new one um, but that didn't help me in in this particular case so now i've just got an extra mic mica uh, waveguide here uh, so if that's your problem that's what i would look at first now if you sometimes your microwave isn't heating at all that's what we're going to get into now and take a look at that. So the first thing we're going to have to do is take this cover off. It's got a crap ton of screws on the sides, underneath, on both sides, more on the sides, underneath. Got screws along the back. And then if you have a, a, an over-the-range microwave, um, don't take these screws out. These are for the bra These are for the uh, mounting uh, block that's used to attach it. So you don't want to take these screws out. But there'll be other screws on the front. Um, I had a couple here, and then on the over the range, usually these cords stick out here. So you're going to have to take this one off right here. I'll just do that real quick. I got the other ones off already. Um, let's take this one off. Let's 
So this little thing can pop up and then we can just, when we lift this up, we can slide this out. And then this whole thing is just gonna pull back. Like that, and then we can lift it right up. So we're just gonna lift it up. Take it off. Now of course, don't take the cover off uh, if your microwave's still plugged in. I've had my, you want to unplug the microwave and you probably want to wait, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes. Uh, let the capacitors bleed off. Most of the new microwaves have uh, a way to bleed, uh, a resistor to bleed off the capacitors and stuff. So there's no high voltage when you work on it. Um, but you got to wait. You know, I would wait a good 10, 15 minutes maybe before you start getting in here and taking a look around. So, um, this is kind of danger area. This capacitor is a very high voltage capacitor. Um, and the transformer, uh, some of these wires that go down to the transformer. Um, I mean, most, most everything's insulated and shielded, but uh, should not, you know, it's, it probably won't get zapped, but it is enough to, to kill you. So <laughs> be careful. Um, so anyway, uh, a shout out to Jacob, the, the tech, because he gave me the tip that I needed to check. And um, he said, check your magnetron. So this right here is the magnetron. And they're all going to look pretty much like that in every microwave. And this tip here applies to every microwave, not just a, a Samsung. Um, so you're going to have a transformer here, high voltage transformer, and then your magnetron. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to take out this magnetron. And it's very simple. There's a connector here. Remove that connector. Uh, some magnetrons have one screw, some have a couple. And maybe you, you twist it and pull it out. And this one has a couple of tabs. This particular one has tabs on the side. So we're going to take out those two screws and then we're going to, it's going to like turn out and then we're going to pull it out. And then all the magnetrons also have a uh, thermostat up here to, to monitor the temperature and it's connected with two connectors. And so if the magnetron gets too hot, this thermostat opens, it's normally closed. So there's normally continuity between those two. If you use an ohm meter, it should read close to zero ohms. Uh, that's how you can check if your thermostat's okay. And, uh, but when it gets too hot, then that circuit will open. Now, if, if that part fails, that you'll, you'll read infinite resistance. There'll be no connectivity between those two, two leads. So that's another possible point of failure to check. Um, but actually when that happens, your microwave won't power on. And uh, getting back to that other microwave, the GE microwave, uh, that's what the tech found. Actually, the thermostat was good, but when he pulled off one of these uh, connectors, it had not been connected, it had not been pushed onto the blade properly. Um, and uh, actually, I'm going to show you that later uh, once I pull this out. So um, let me get the screws out first because it's kind of hard to show right now. So I'm just going to halt for a second. I'm going to just get these screws out. Okay, the screws are out. So as you can see, this thing just just tilt it this way and then you can pull it out now I have access to these better access to these guys here let me just lift them up lift them up and so what happened on the other microwave and this is a, a tip because it had the guy stumped he thought he thought there was something wrong with one of the other thermistors he never took the the cover off um, was trying to diagnose it uh, you know with the range in place and 
what it turned out to be. He, he checked this thermistor, but he only, in that particular one, one of these connectors was really hard to, to get to to remove. So he just checked it on the blade, and then he checked there, and, the, and then the, the, the therm thermostat was good. Well, what happened was, from the factory, if you look inside these connectors, there's like a little blade in there. And somehow they had managed to push the connector on, like outside the blade. And eventually it started to heat the insulation on this thing, and then it lost connectivity with the thermistor, or the thermostat, excuse me. So that's kind of an unusual fault, but was, so that was a factory, you know, installation, factory assembly problem. But uh, if your microwave is not powering on at all, and you know, like it was working just fine, and that could be one reason. Um, normally it's probably going to be a, a bad uh, thermostat. There's a few of them in the microwave. So, um, but that's something else to check for if your microwave just doesn't power on at all. So anyway, we're all disconnected here. We're going to pull this guy out and we're going to check for what my, my new friend Jacob, uh, shout out to Jacob for putting me onto this advice. Um, we're going to check for what he said. He said, it's probably a cracked magnet in your magnetron. So we're looking here for a cracked magnet. And what do we find right there? That magnet is, it's like there's a piece of it missing. That magnet is definitely cracked. So that's the problem, folks. Um, you can buy these magnetrons on Amazon. That's or an appliance parts store. You're gonna pay, you're gonna pay more in an appliance parts store, um, but uh, you can get them on Amazon. I checked this this particular one for this microwave is about seventy bucks, and uh, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy this buy this and place it and be back in business. Um, probably will have to take the, the uh, thermostat off of the old one. I don't think that's included with the magnetron. So you have to remove the thermostat and put it on the on the new magnetron when it comes in. But uh, hopefully that will give you something to check for and uh, solve your problem. It's a very simple part to replace. So maybe a little harder on some microwaves than other. I mean, they're all packaged differently, but... Uh, it's worth it's worth checking out I mean for 70 bucks versus buying a new microwave go for it so uh, if this was helpful thanks for watching bye